In this video, we will calculate the next two iterations for this given problem. And this is what we're given. And this right here is the formula that we will be using in order to solve this problem. And so we, we know x0 and we know x1. And so we could say that this right here would be 1 plus 1, meaning I know x1 and I know x0. If I know x1, I know this, I know this. 1 minus 1 is 0, so x0, which is this, so I know x0 also. And by using this formula, if we know x0 and x1, we can get x2 and then x3 and so forth. And so we can say that x2, meaning 1 plus 1, x2, is equal to, um, we would have x1 minus f parentheses x1 times x1 minus 1 minus 1 is 0, so x0 divided by um, f x1 minus f um, 1 minus 1 is 0. And so this is what we have right here based off of this formula. And now we will replace this given information with our actual numbers. And so x1 was 2. So we say 2 minus. So now we plug in 2 for this formula. So we would get parentheses 2 squared minus 5. Because this right here is the function. And this is the function. So I'm replacing x with 2. Parentheses, now x1 minus x0. So that means 2 minus 1 divided by, now same thing, same function. So 2 squared minus 5 would correspond to this minus parentheses um, x0, the function. So I would plug in 1, I would plug in 1 in here. So 1 squared minus 5. And if I plug this into a calculator, this right here, I would get 7 over 3, which is approximately uh, 2.333. And I will box in this answer. So this right here is one iteration. And now I will get the second iteration. So x3, the next two iterations. So x3. And so this is the same idea. I'm just going up by 1. So this is x2. This is x3. x1 becomes x2 minus f x2 times x2 minus x1 divided by f x2 minus f x1. And so essentially what we're doing here is we know 0, we know 1, we know 2, we want to know 3. And so if I say that i is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. i is 2. So this becomes 2, this becomes 2, 2, 2 minus 1 gives us 1, which we also know. 2, 2 minus 1 gives us 1, which we know. And so now we'll do the exact same thing. And so if you want, you can pause the video here and attempt to get the second iteration. And so let's do this. So we know that x2 is approximately 2.333 minus fx2. So we have the same idea. So we do 2.333 squared minus 5. I'm putting this number into the function. Parentheses, um, x2 was 2.333 minus um, x1, which was 2, divided by same thing, idea, so 2.333 squared minus 5, simply using this formula, minus 2 squared minus 5. And so when I plug this into a calculator, just to be more accurate, instead of writing 2.333, I will write 7 over 3. And in doing so, I would get 29 over 13, which is approximately... 2.231. So this is the second iteration. And now I will actually solve this problem using the TI Inspire 
to kind of show you that we were pretty close in this answer. And so what I will do here is hit menu, algebra, solve. And in our problem, we had x squared minus five is equal to zero. And we want to solve for x. Like this, simply hit control, enter. So I get negative 2.236 and positive 2.236. And the answer that we got after our additional two iteration was 2.231. So it was off by 0 0.005. And now you may ask, why didn't we get the negative number? And I'll explain why. And so the reason we didn't get the negative, uh, negative 2.23 something is because our given x0, x0 was 1, and x1 was 2. Had we been given like, I don't know, x1, x0 was negative 3, and x1 was negative 2, then we would have gotten the negative answer. And so that's all we need to do for this problem.